This coming Wednesday starts the season of Lent. Now, the mass schedule for Lent is starting on Wednesday, February the 10th. This is the mass schedule. We have mass at 8 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the evening, and 7 o'clock in the evening as well. And what happens at mass? There are two main sections to mass. Mass is broken down into what's called the liturgy of the word and the liturgy of the Eucharist. It's basically divided nearly in half. So on Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, which is a weekday and a work day, if time is on your side and you don't have a lot of things to do on Wednesday, whatever one of those masses you go to after you receive your ashes, you can stay hopefully then for the entire mass. But if mass and time is not on your side and there's a lot of things you need to do, maybe drop off one or two of your children, pick them up from a school activity, and you just squeeze for time, then what we're going to do is this. We're going to distribute the ashes right after the homily, that liturgy of the word, that first half of the mass. So we'll have the reading, the gospel naturally, the homily, the distribution of ashes. So if you can't stay for mass because you've got so many things to do, it is not a holy day of obligation as Wednesday, so you can leave right after you receive your ashes. You can leave early. Now, we're talking Wednesday, not today. <laughs> you can't leave early today. You have to stay for the entire mass. But what happens on Lent and starting Ash Wednesday is it's very important for all of us to practice some style of piety or, or sacrifice. We need to do something that makes us conscious and aware every day that we're traveling through a sacred and special time in our lives. Now, the act of piety, the sacrifice we should get involved in, there are two main ways to do that. A lot of people like to give something up for Lent. And that's nice, and that's a good thing to do. Only if you can give something up graciously and happily. But if you love coffee, and you need your morning coffee every morning, and you decide, oh, that's going to be a great sacrifice, I will give up coffee. That's really going to be hard. So you wake up on Thursday morning, the first day of Lent after Ash Wednesday, and you don't have your morning coffee. You start off kind of grumpy and sour and you start to bite the heads off of all those people around you, then you're not really accomplishing that much because you're giving something up, but it's not making you a better person, and it's making the world you live in a little darker. <laughs> there is another way that we can approach the sacrifice and a piety of Lent, and that is to add something on. It is called this. The rake method of piety during Lent. And if you subscribe to the rake method, it's a beautiful method. It allows you to feel good about yourself if you perform the rake method during the season of Lent. You're gonna feel good inside of your heart. You're gonna make the world you live in a brighter place to live in. Well, let's just watch this video to get an understanding what the rake method is that we can employ during the season of Lent. Couldn't tell
We should all allow ourselves to get engaged in some style of piety sacrifice during the season of Lent, which starts on Wednesday. But the method I always favor and the one that I like is the rake method. Random acts of kindness every day, not once in a while, not once a year, but, but every day. Whenever we listen or watch the news and read the newspaper, we see that our world is full of random acts of violence, which seems to be every day. We can reverse that whole trend by clearly then performing the opposite, a random act of kindness every day. And if you perform some random act, you can do it once or several times a day, but what you're going to find is you're going to be elevated and lift up. You're going to be walk away from that situation, whether you open a door for someone or put someone's groceries in the car or just nod and give someone a smile. Whatever it is, you're going to walk away and say, I feel so good inside. And you're going to put a smile on your face, and that smile is going to translate onto a smile on someone else's face. And then all of a sudden, what you've managed to do is really a carcinogenic in a positive way that metastasizes, and you're going to allow yourself to make the world you live in a much better place. Whatever you do, whether you give something up during this Lent, or you add something on, and you perform a random act of kindness, the litmus test always needs to be this, whatever I do. I gotta make sure it's gonna make me a better person and the world I live in a better place to live. Whatever you do is up to you. That's your style of sacrifice and piety. But I think the rake method is a great method during the season of Lent and even beyond to perform a random act of kindness every day. <laughs> 